little bit about what it was like preparing um, over the summer to get the kids ready to come back to school despite COVID still being very prevalent. This summer was the most challenging of all summers in terms of preparation in my 27 years uh, in education. St. Mary Academy is in a, a fortunate position because we have a 40,000 square foot building and we're only at 35 to 40 percent capacity. So our building is conducive to social distancing. So we actually had a teacher academy for three weeks in the summer, how to teach using Google Share, Google everything. So our staff, you know, they did a great job on the fly. We basically said, hey, Tomorrow we're not here and good luck, we're doing virtual. Um, now our, I think our staff was prepared, they're sharing ideas, they're doing a great job. And uh, so I think it's getting better every single day. Are you guys in a hybrid setup right now? We are not, we're going live uh, five days a week in person. Tom's River started out the school year in a full virtual model. We are 100% virtual at this time. And how has it been so far? It uh, has been better than our expectations. We're doing everything we possibly can to provide the best virtual model available. So it's going remarkably well. The students have been resilient and we're not having any issues with face masks. They're following all the protocol and the procedures and we sent that out as early as we could in the summer. So everybody was anticipating the changes. Uh, the students love it. The parents would love for the kids to be here five days a week. Um, and I agree, but just trying to follow the CDC guidelines, we, we had to split the class and, and have six feet separation in all the classrooms. I think some students, especially the younger students, struggle a little bit with all the screen time. The older students are handling that portion a little bit better. And what kind of hurdles do you see the district having to jump over to get it to the point that we are back in school, in session, face-to-face? -face? Staff shortages. Having the staff in person to have some level of in-person uh, model, whether it's a blended learning model or full in-person. Um, is your district hiring? Should people watching this be applying if they feel comfortable to go back to in-person uh, classes? We anticipate within two months, we have to have staff on board. If not, we've already posted. The bottom line, Nicole, is we've got to get back to school. We're not going to com compromise the health and safety of anyone. We'll get there, but people are working incredibly hard.